Okay guys, we're back working on our XJ project and we're talking about our Dana 60 swap system. The last video we showed you the truss and now we're gonna show you how it's all installed in the vehicle and you can really get a feel for how everything fits together. So this is our truss and this is all engineered very, very specific to fit into this XJ so that we get the maximum clearance up underneath the oil pan. We're as low profile as we possibly can get. We've got it set up so we've got uh, passenger side upper control arm. We don't have a driver's side because there just simply is enough room over here. So we've got a passenger side set up on there. We've got our new track bar mounting location, which what we did with that is pushed it outboard as far as we could get so we can run as long of a track bar as we can so that we can run equal length and parallel to our drag link system. And then we've got our hydro assist mount on here so that we're all set up to get you that additional force you're gonna need when you're out there on the trail and trying to turn those big tires. And then we're gonna talk about our control arms and our mounting system. So all of this is set up specifically to make this easy for you in your Cherokee. We've got everything that's been designed and engineered to work together. So we've got a whole new cross member system, three piece cross member, so you can still drop that center section out. You can do any transmission or transfer case work got all the control arms that are going to get you as much tire clearance as you can get and as much up travel as you can get. There's not a lot of room in here. Everybody that's got a Cherokee knows there's not a lot of room to work. This has done everything that we can do with our bends to clear as much as we can so we can get the maximum up travel. This kit's designed to work at four inches minimum lift height and the more lift you get the more up travel you're going to be able to get out of it. But it works fabulous at, at anything four inches and over and we're running, in our system, we're running a 32 inch long shock and that's gonna get us, uh, we're gonna need about five inches of bump stop to try and keep our rig from rubbing with our 42 inch tires that we're running on this one. So when we're looking at our track bar in specific, we've got, we've made this as long as we can so that we can have the same length as we've got for our drag link. So we're gonna be about 37 inches long, which is about over four inches longer than the stock drag link, our track bar is. And what we've done is pushed it out on both ends and we're using an inch and a quarter solid bar and a double adjuster. So this thing's gonna be super easy to adjust when you're dialing in your alignment and getting this axle dead center under the vehicle. Super, super easy to work with. Super stout, super heavy duty. And then you're gonna come over to the bracket that we've got on the chassis side. And this is kind of crazy. We've pushed it toward the outbound of the vehicle so that we can make that track bar longer. And we've pushed it forward so that we can clear the differential and allow for some stretch in the wheelbase on it but super stout, quarter inch plate. Um, it's gonna be in the right location, all engineered so that you don't need to figure this stuff out. We've all got those friends that have uh, you know, said, oh, just quick one ton swap it, it's easy. Well, you know, it's easy to go and pick up an axle and uh, try and stuff it in, but then you're buying parts from 12 different vendors to try and make it work, then you're going and buying a bender to fabricate all your parts. All that work's done for you. We have taken all the hard parts out of this and made it very, very easy, very simple. It's still gonna be a lot of work. It's a still a one-ton swap, but it's gonna be the easiest you can make it work, and this system is designed to work together. Okay, so we're gonna start talking about our steering system, and we're gonna start at the, the uh, pitman arm at the drag link and work our way out from there. But our pitman arm is custom made for us. It is solid billet steel. We've got it longer and it tucks up higher so that you're gonna be able to have your whole steering system raised up, keep it out of the rocks, keep it out of debris. And then it's longer so that we're gonna be able to actually get the full range of motion out of our steering. And that way you're gonna still get the maximum steering that stops, the factory stops allow. And basically that's gonna be as much as a factory u joint's going to allow. Take a look at the pitman arm quick. We've got our custom machined piece here and then we've got our factory piece here. So you can see that this is designed to be way higher clearance in the vehicle and the mounting location is longer than what it is in the factory one and then of course it's solid billet so it is a lot stronger than what the factory one was. Coming up off of that then we're going to drop onto our drag link and this is again stretched as long as we possibly can make it so that we're matching the length of our track bar and our drag link so when you're coming off of that ledge or you hit that rock you don't get the wheel kind of throwing you violently turning left or right on you it's gonna be as smooth and even as it possibly can get with those two pieces of the suspension moving at the same speed. So you're coming down the drag link and you're gonna run into our double adjuster. Just like our track bar, our track bar's got the double adjuster. We've got the same thing on the drag link. 
And that's of course so that you can center up that steering wheel perfectly, make all the, the adjustments super quick, super easy, and makes your job a lot faster for all the install on it. Now we get to some, where there's some more bracketry here. We've added a lot of work into the knuckles on this. Um, we wanted to keep a double shear, so each, the, the tie rod and the drag link are both mounted double shear. We're tied into the factory casting here, so we've got as much strength as we can get. But now we're putting on these extra plates so that we've got the ability to keep the strength up, but to change the pivot locations. We're gonna change the location where the drag link mounts, again, so that we can keep that maximum steering angle. And then we're gonna change the position where the tie rod mounts because we want that as high as possible. So all this is gonna be part of the system that's really gonna be engineered to make this thing work extremely well on the road or off the road. And you're really gonna be able to have a pretty easy to install as far as installs go. Now as you're looking at our tie rod, you can see this setup, the actual production part is going to be fully machined. This is using some of our iron rock uh, thread and bungs, um, weld in bungs that you can do yourself. So perfect for the DIYer. So if you do decide to tackle a project like this yourself, we've got all the parts for that as well. You're gonna see our steering clamp here for our hydro assist. And that's geared to go on the inch and a half DOM tubing that we make the tie rod out of. Good, easy to mount, easy to adjust, easy to put it wherever you need to put it. And then when you come back onto the truss, we've got a nice 3 8 plate that we're mounting that ram mount to. So this thing's gonna be super stout. You're not have, gonna have to worry about that thing uh, cracking or breaking on you. So we're talking a lot about steering angle and anybody who's off-roaded knows you, you just need to be able to turn your wheel and get to where you wanna go. And you know when you're seeing that different rock or that ledge you're trying to get on or get off of, you know if you can't get there, you know it's really gonna be difficult to do the wheeling. Well, with this setup, we have got this set so you can maximize the steering angle as much as the factory ever allowed and as, as much as U-joint's ever gonna allow you. So you can see that we can get all the way to the steering stop on either side, and that's gonna get you that angle that you want. So you can choose the line you wanna take and let your vehicle go where you want it to go. So you're gonna be able to see some of the bracketry that we've got here. These are all done right here in-house, and they're done on our CNC laser cutter, and then they're all formed on our CNC press brake. And even the parts here are machined on our CNC mills and lathes for anything that we've got that's going into this. Really set up so that you're going to have top quality parts that are gonna fit the way you want and you're gonna be able to install it as easily as possible. We'll go deeper into the install on this in the next video, but that way you'll be able to see exactly how everything goes and the welding procedure that we use on it. But another thing to do is to pay attention. Soon we're gonna have our four link system for this. So that's going to get rid of the track bar it's gonna get rid of the hydro assist and it's gonna be set up for a full hydro system. Gonna get rid of the drag link and the tie rods will end up changing to short little tie rods coming off of that uh, full hydro steering. But this is gonna be set up so that you're basically dedicated off-road and you're gonna get the absolute maximum performance. You're gonna get the maximum force out at the wheel. So when you're trying to turn that big 40 or 42 inch tire on something, you'll have all the force you need to do it. So that's coming up soon too, so pay attention for that one. So kind of telling you all about our three link system. This is gonna be coming soon. That four link system is gonna be coming soon. We've got a lot of other cool stuff. So definitely check out our future videos, like, follow, subscribe, and that'll get you all the same content that we're producing here. And hit us up in the comments if you've got any questions or comments. We do read them all. We do comment back on all of them. We really do appreciate your feedback. And come hit us up at Iron Rock Off-Road. We've got all kinds of different stuff on the website. And hit us up in, uh, email or telephone, we'll uh, answer any questions you've got. Thanks.